affairs of a wizard. I received my new orders from Lucy and Lachance. I must go to Leafrock Cave and kill a necromancer who has begun the process of transforming himself into a lich. <gasps> This necromancer, Celadain, has not yet completed his metamorphosis, but is still incredibly powerful. Possibly too powerful to kill if faced directly. I should search the cave for Caitlin's writing, sorry, Celadain's writings, and try and discover his weakness. Everyone's weakness is Flug's sword, so don't even don't even worry about it. Uh, where have we got to go? Where have we got to go? Hang on, let's point point the map. There we go, right this way. Have we been anywhere nearby? We haven't been anywhere nearby, except a Tata, which is an alien ruin. Let's travel to there, and then we'll make our way from there. It's a bit of a misty night, isn't it? Hopefully we don't get lost. I mean, we're not traveling by road, we're just, we're cutting cross country. Um, and according to the map, there are a fair few like rivers here. What's that one called? Panther River? Um, so we don't want to drown. We don't want to lose our, our footing and stumble. So when we get to this cave, we've got to not necessarily confront the necromancer straight away. We need to look around a bit and try and find his weakness, apparently. I don't know if that's like necessary, if we like if we can't kill him at all without doing that, or if it's just for a bit of fluff, a bit of flavour. I think we're getting close to the cave, unless this is a, a different cave that's about... Leaf Rot. No, this is the one. Leaf Rot Cave. Alright, this is where we're going to kill him. So he's a necromancer who's trying to turn himself into a, a lich. Shh. Let's be stealthy. Let's get that sword out. How many charges does it have, by the way? Ah. Three more uses. Let's not use it on that dude then. We'll, we'll use it on the um, we'll use it on on the necromancer, but not on anyone else who might be here. Be like this skeleton. Did I not get a sneak bonus? I did, but it just wasn't enough. He's too tough. Right. Right. This is. I think part of the guy's journal. So entry one, my initial findings may have been inconclusive, but they set me on the path I will pursue until I achieve my goal or lie rotting in this cave. Either outcome will be a welcome respite from the days and nights I spent toiling without food, water or any kind of companionship. A lesser mage would have fallen prey to madness by now, I'm sure of it, but I am not a lesser mage. Though they try in earnest, though their hearts and minds are true to the teachings of our great sovereign, my fellow necromancers lack the complete dedication required to achieve that ultimate of goals, the state of lichdom. Not even Falcar himself can match my sheer tenacity, my unwillingness to accept failure on any level. That is why I, Keladane, will soon join the ranks of the Worm Eremites, those servants favoured by our sovereign above all others. I will sit with honour and obedience at his right hand while those fools in the Mages Guild grovel at my maggot-ridden feet. Entry 2. Even the most pedestrian peasant fairy tale has long held that a lich must somehow remain bound to his soul, and that connection most commonly manifests itself as a transference of the spirit into an actual physical object. An urn, a sarcophagus, a crystal phial, one Khajiit fairy tale even tells of a lich who preserved his spirit in the severed head of a wood elf infant. And these same peasants long comforted themselves with the belief that if they had ever had the grave misfortune of facing a lich, they would need only to find the vessel containing his spirit form and then destroy it, thus destroying the lich himself. Fools and their folklore. True liches possess no such weakness. Can one of the Sovereign's worm eremites be bested by shattering a glass vase? The very notion is so absurd as to be comical. Yes, a necromancer must transfer his soul into a physical vessel, but once that transference is complete, once the necromancer has fully metamorphosized into his lich form, the vessel is inconsequential. But it's the process of this transference itself that has eluded me for so long. My soul remains bound to my earthly body, and nothing I have attempted has allowed me to free myself of this mortal coil and transcend to the state of lichdom I so dearly desire. So, potentially a glass vase he's transferred or transferring into. Uh, entry 3. Every tome I've acquired, the volumes upon volumes of necromantic discourse, all useless. 
I've grown disgusted by the years of wasted life that have been poured into these so-called essential writings. Who in their right mind will ever wish to animate a month-dead cyrodiilic butterfly or bring life to the rotting husk of a rare albino mud crab? How many months have I wasted away in this cave? And for what reason? Ah, yes, I know. I will resurrect an army of deformed goblin younglings and march on the White Gold Tower itself. That, at least, is in my reach. My mind has become a cesspool of necromantic waste, where reject spells and rituals compete for the honour of finally driving me completely insane. And still, I am no closer to achieving my goal than when I was than I was when I first began this process. Am I losing faith in myself? In my discipline? Perhaps I've been studying too hard. Maybe and I have sacrificed my prayers to our sovereign for one more experiment, one more incantation. What I need now is rest. Rest and a state of tranquillity, so that I may commune with our sovereign and repledge my loyalty and devotion. For what else will I find in some crumbling codex that could not be supplied by our great sovereign himself? Entry 4. The secret is mine. So long I searched, so hard I toiled, but I was a fool. I was right to forego my studies for a more ardent devotion to prayer. Last night, as I sit in the throes of meditation, our great sovereign did come to me. He passed to me the knowledge I have sought for so long. The secrets of transcendence were even more complex and arcane than even I could have imagined, and I will never transcribe them into any written work. Indeed, they have never been recorded. All my months of solitude were for naught, as the secret I so desperately sought could only be obtained through direct communication with our great sovereign himself. Soon I will walk the earth as a worm eremite, serving the sovereign in a state of endless undeath. Ooh. Entry 5. Through the sacrifice of many innocents, the resurrection of many servants to aid me in my tasks, and the tireless performance of a nearly week-long ritual, I have completed construction of the Sands of Resolve. The transcendence to full lichdom will not be immediate, however. The vessel has been crafted, but my energy force, my soul, must be fully transferred into it. Not even our sovereign was quite certain how long this process would take, as it varies from one necromancer to the next, based on many factors, both physical and spiritual. One thing, however, is certain. This hourglass must never leave my possession until the transference is complete. All right, it's an hourglass then. I grow more powerful every day, but in truth am more vulnerable than I've ever been. If something were to happen to the sands of resolve, if the hourglass should somehow leave my person, the connection between my soul, between soul and vessel would be severed. To think that my work, my life, could be eradicated so easily after I've come so close to success is almost more than I can bear. Ooh, alright. I've discovered the journal of the necromancer Celadane. It appears he has used a magic hourglass called the Sands of Resolve to turn himself into a lich and extend his life indefinitely. The process is not yet complete, however, and the hourglass must remain on Celadane's person for some time, as it contains his life force. If I could remove the Sands of Resolve from Celadane's possession, perhaps through pickpocketing, he would surely die. Alright, good. We'll do that then. We'll do that. We just need to sneak up on him. Um, what else you got here? Darkest Darkness. Fundamentals of Alchemy. Oh, could that could that give me a, like a level up boost? No. Is that not a thing in Oblivion? Hey, is this the Hourglass? Right. We'll swap it. We'll do the old Indiana Jones switcheroo. That's what we'll do. Right. Sneak, sneaky, sneaky. Fuck, we've got two lockpicks. Do you reckon he's through this door? Or is there another way around? Right, we've got, we got to save the game. Because we've got two lockpicks. And I don't want to I don't want to fuck it up. I'm sure we will fuck it up. But I don't want to. Right. Here we go. Yes. All right, good. Oh, hello zombie. Right. They'll never see me coming. They'll never fucking see me coming. Let's see what else we got here. Skeletons, coffins, what's through here? Leaf rot hollow. This is where it'd be right. He's here somewhere. He could be down that hole. That's the only way to go, so he's got to be down that hole. Right, down we go. Oh. Stealthy, guys. Stealthy. Hello? <gasps> that, that, that's him. Have we got any, like, potions of invisibility or something? Probably not. 
Um, but we've got cheap wine. We could get drunk and convince ourselves we're invisible. Potion of cure poison, dispel, healing, blah, 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 blah. No. We could throw a potato to distract it, maybe. Let's see if we can see through the, the cracks in the door. I see him walking around. Oh, he's coming back. There it goes. Right. Shh, 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 shh. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Never gonna see me coming. Oh fuck! He saw me coming. All right. I guess. I guess it's on. I guess it's on. We did it. <laughs> Celadane is dead. I must pick up my reward and next contract at the dead drop located in an old sack hidden in the bushes beneath the great oak in the city of Chorrel. Has he got the hourglass on him anyway? Sands of resolve. There we go. I'm, I'm taking them. What can we do with them? I only had like a value of five. What were you doing over here, by the way? What's over here? Oh, look. Arcane shit. What have you been doing? We've been doing naughty boy. You naughty boy. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, well, that was easy then. That was easy. This great oak, maybe? There's somebody here, though. I don't want to look, like, suspicious. Would you mind fucking off, please? I've got a secret assassin stuff, alright? Yeah, she's fucking off. She's going. Anytime now. What's new with you? I saw some by the water okay oh, 500 gold what a reward all right let's read the next one so quest completed affairs of a wizard i've picked up my reward and received my next contract 